Hello and welcome, I'm Tavara Gadamu. Ethiopia last week launched its first satellite. Has it found its spot out in space? And has it started generating data that's needed right here? My guest today, Dr. Solomon Bella, heads the very institute that oversees the activities of the Ntoto Observatory and Research Center. Everyone will come to the program. Thank you very much. Um, now, it's, it's been a week since you launched the satellite, right? Yes. Have you started receiving info from, from out in space? Uh, have, you, have you started monitoring it? What's new? Uh, the new thing is uh, we know there is a, a standard of a satellite after launching for seven days. And then uh, the status of the satellite, the health condition, and then stability of the satellite should be checked. And we are receiving an image, telemetry, and signals uh, at the observatory and communicating with the Chinese team, launching team together and uh, checking, analyzing the normality, the stability of the power, the stability of uh, the satellite, suppose she is held. And now it is uh, okay. Then uh, our satellite is completely normal. And uh, yesterday, we received the first signal of the satellite image. Interesting. Yesterday meaning Wednesday? Wednesday, yes. So what kind of images did you receive? The image is, uh, that is some of the parts of the Ethiopian in general uh, at uh, 8,000 square kilometers of the Ethiopian images. Hmm. Wow. So when, are, when is it going to transmit? I mean, wh what kind of data are you... Are you planning to generate through through this through the satellite? It has to be topic specific, right? Yes, yes. We already conducted the feasibility study and then the demand from the stakeholders last year, from the government and non-government organization, and as well as also in from the East African regions. Then the primary uh, interest of the Ethiopian government is the first one is agriculture sector, for example, wheat the coffee and um, and others also in wide range of agriculture sector mm -hmm. and the second one is mm, the mining sector the mining sector water resource and uh, uh, environmental monitoring and the urban and rural land administration system then of course our satellite is multi-spectrum then possible to get and really to receive different images. Then these are the primary targets of the satellite. Then based on the demands of uh, the national stakeholders interest, then we can give the mission for the satellite in particular place, in a particular time, and if necessary, also the whole Ethiopia at the same time. So when is it? When are you going to give uh, those specific instructions to your satellite up there? Then immediately we will start in the next Monday. Uh, you mean the next next? In week? the coming yes, next week we will start the mission image analysis and then uh, to receive the mission images. That would be straight from 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 the uh, Ntoto Observatory here in Addis Ababa. Yes, from the Ntoto Observatory, the, the site to command, to control, to monitor. The, we have. There are six subsystems at mm -hmm. Ntoto, six subsystems. The first subsystem is controlling of uh, the satellite, monitoring and data analysis, and uh, uh, checking the health conditions, and ready of data for the end users. Then everything should be from that Ntoto. So, uh, how many Ethiopians? Uh, uh, is it only an Ethiopian is, is staffed by Ethiopians? We have foreigners as well. Uh, for the next two months, two months there is a standard for uh, rechecking together. Of course, from Ethiopians, we have currently twenty Ethiopian engineers at, at the observatory. At the observatory, and uh, the project is led by the Ethiopians mm, initially. Uh, uh, I'm the project uh, uh, coordinator and then there is also the director for uh, satellite operation and monitoring system and uh, for the next two months the Chinese team will also involve because uh, this is two months is the time of provisional acceptance testing then after two months then the orbit acceptance the orbit acceptance means the satellite is 
accepted officially in orbit by the Ethiopians. No more. So it will be run by Ethiopians? By, completely by the Ethiopians. Are you well equipped to run that? I mean, technically? In, in space and technology in satellite sector, then uh, no one is completely an absolute and uh, know everything. But technically now for the operation, analyzing, controlling, and our engineers are ready. So how will you be connecting to the ones in China, where it was launched from? I mean, in terms of monitoring the satellite? In the next, uh, still there is a connection. But in the near future, then space needs to be wide range of collaboration. We need even high resolution satellite data from China, then we will give the access IP for them, and they will give also another data based on a requirement of the satellite for the access. This is collaboration exchange only. So you're seeking your, you're seeking support from the Chinese uh, institution, right? Yes. In terms of uh, generating high quality. Yes, and additional. Uh -huh. Yes. So when does that start? When would, when do you ask the Chinese to provide you with this? Uh, every, for example, every month, every two months, or per need? The institute is constructing one of the big receiver stations now, in addition to the satellite receiver station. That receiver station is multi-mission receiver station that can receive a satellite both optical and radar satellite data. 0.3 and 0.5. 0 0.3 for uh, radar and 0 0.5 for optical. Which you currently don't have. Yes, even even knowing in, in many of the Africa, in Africa totally. Mm. That is very, very important for many missions. Not only for uh, civilian missions, but also other missions can be used. Then, so that that satellite that data is the most important and we have we made an agreement with the chinese space administrative station to assist in giving some of the data for ethiopia in in collaboration and the second one is uh, for the next five years that multi-dimensional receiver station can generate can track five satellites at the same time five satellites at the same time for the 11 applications. Th that is the most important, not only from China even, from the other regions, Europe and USA can be used, but needs to be strong collaboration. And uh, the, the other one is, uh, Office of the United Nations Office of Outer Space is coordinating uh, in order to assist developing countries to use more satellite data for the sustainable development and for the other activities of the nation. Then, uh, and this, the other one is, since we have a satellite, we can enter into the, into the constellation yeah. membership. Into the negotiation, yeah. into that conversation. Constellation means into there are many, many satellites yeah. in the world. Yeah. Then once we, we, we are ready to give the, our data, and the others can give the... You start uh, that conversation? Yes, okay. we start that. Okay. When, okay, okay. when do you expect to get into that conversation with the other uh, uh, satellites out there? With China, we already uh, complete. Yeah, but I know that but you need to, uh, to make it much more global. Yes, and uh, for, Af for our Africans, currently Ethiopian Space Science and Technology is the chairman of the African Space Program for the next two years. Right. Then uh, we, have a plat we, we have a platform and uh, uh, last uh, October, December, two to, two to four meetings, and we put it some of the key areas of strategies how to exchange satellite data. Then we started already the negotiation. And with the Europeans, uh, French and, uh, and uh, uh, German is ready to give. We, we, last November, I was in, in uh, Germany. And I discussed it with them, and we agreed to exchange some of the data. So, uh, how long will this this satellite, this microsatellite, be in 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 this in space? I mean, how how long will it be there? Two years, three years? Is that the age of the satellite is mainly depends on on the turbulence of the environment in space. Of course, our design is for three years, mm -hmm. satellite design, and then it self destructs. And uh, yeah self-destruct yes but this is a design is for three years 
if the weather condition is okay and if the, if the turbulence is less in space, then satellite can really longer than four, five, six years. But the maximum age for the remote sensing sat satellite is eight years. Eight years. So uh, th this was bankrolled, basically funded uh, by, by the Chinese, right? Yes. Primarily. Yes. It cost, what, eight million US dollars? Yes, oh. eight million uh, US dollars and uh, six million USD is from the Chinese government. From the Chinese. And why do you think, well, there are critics, you know, as, as, mu as much as it is a very interesting idea, innovative idea uh, to have Ethiopian satellite out in the space, there are critics to this initiative who actually say, well, to generate, to, to get those data that you just mentioned, you don't have to shoot a satellite out into space. You can get it from other sources, actually, cheaply. This is uh, really, yes, I, I heard and I saw from different social media. Uh, the purpose of uh, building satellite is, um, particularly in Ethiopian cases, for three. The first one is training Ethiopian engineers to new technology and transforming the knowledge and, and uh, technology to Ethiopia. And uh, the second one is really space resource is not an easy. And in order to claim space resource, the equity issues of the space, we have to have at least space infrastructure and space policies and activities. And the other one is, yes, some of the data is freely. It's available in the website freely. Are they, those data are really as we, we wanted? Is it possible to get those data, real data from, from the other countries? No, after 18 years, uh, after 18 months. So the other one is you cannot get quality data simply from the open sources. And uh, the, the rest is, uh, for example, if you claim you have to submit the critical proposals, why you are going to be asked the data, satellite data, your proposal should be accepted for the donors or those of the organization who are going to submit or give the free, da free data. Then it takes a long, a long procedure and processes. Then the most important is the quality of the data. Free quality of data is very, very less. And the other is... But can't you buy them cheap? I mean, is, there are some that you can get free, right? They're, they're, yes, they're public, yes. in public domain. Yes, yes, there yes. are plenty of others that you can buy cheap. Why was it necessary? No, 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 not cheap, not cheap. Uh, for example, uh, the, the, the price of the data depends on the amount of the data you are, you are going to request it. If the data is less, then the, 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 cost, the price of the data per square, meter, square kilometer is very high. Uh, for high resolution, mostly in the international um, trend, then uh, the, price, the price of the data is 25 uh, USD per kilometer. USD per kilometer. If you request more than 1,000 suns, sin, sin means the amount of the, that is a, is a unit that ca data can be measured. If, if not, if less than 1,000, then the amount that the, the price is going to be higher. Then it, it is t too expensive. The most important is not this. Uh, space is a very wide and creates and stimulates many of technologies. And then this can be used for Ethiopia to really to encourage space technology in general. In other, in other words, you, in the years ahead, you're planning to liberate yourselves from yes. other influences because yes. you need to get the correct data without any other influence, right? Is, uh, that, is that the correct assessment? Yes. yes. Um, so I, I heard you say, I guess it was the other day, you gave an interview, you said in the next 10 years or 15 years, you're going to launch 10 more satellites into the orbit? Perfect. Oh, yeah. is that what's going to happen? W when is the second satellite going to be launched? Now, what we are doing now, the first one is we are working to start the 
manufacturing assembly integration and testing center in Ethiopia for up to five five hundred kilogram satellite to build in Ethiopia. Are you going to do it on your own, or is there going to be some external support for that? Yes, there is some external parts uh, from French and from Ethiopians. Mm. And we expected to train 1,000 Ethiopians in this project. This project is 13 months project. One, three months? No, 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 three, zero. 30 months? Yes. 30 months. So once we have this, this uh, manufacturing center, then it will be an easy to manufacture satellite from end to end. Then clearly our strategy is for the next 15 years, we will have a plan to launch 10 satellites. All of them may not be enough for Ethiopia, but needs more. They will be launched from where? The launching is not be a priority for Ethiopia. But definitely not from Ethiopia. Yes, it's yes, going to be from yes. anywhere. Anywhere. We can, based on the agreement, strong collaboration, is then uh, possible to launch any from anywhere. But for the after 10 years, then this is the last plan to establish launching center in Ethiopia also after 10 years and the second satellite is yes we are we are in the in the right direction and developing the second satellite but uh, i cannot say the particular time and uh, of uh, launching of the second satellite but i can assure you that before uh, within the next one and a half years and then the SACA will see the second satellite interesting so over the last several years i know that you've been training uh uh, Ethiopians in space science uh, ver in various subfields, right? Mm. This far, you've trained over 70 um, young Ethiopians uh, at PhD level, right? Is that is that correct? Yes. Uh, in 2013-2014, immediately after the establishment of Ndoto Observatory Research Center, then we conducted a feasibility study target-based, TELAR-based nationally then remote sensing space astronomy and geodesy in space science technology four programs were identified and then we developed a, a curriculum that is mm, more international minimum requirement uh, based on the national but international then uh, affiliating with uh, in collaboration with the Addis Ababa University yes up to now 79 students enrolled into the into the institute some of them have graduated at phd yeah. level as well. and some of them 20 around 21 students graduated in masters and others graduated in phd most of the phd students phd students not only from ethiopia but also from uganda and and rwanda where are they now where, where are they working from i mean other than this some of them that they w who eventually got hired by your institution yes some of them are in our institute some in different government institutes, others are abroad. Abroad meaning in the African continent? In the African and uh, even in, in, German, in Germany, in America, in the other uh, world also there. There's also so much interest among, among in space science among young Ethiopians. I'm talking high school students, mm. uh, largely in Addis Ababa, but also from outside of Addis. Yes. Yes, in, uh, because Space science, our program in enhancing, really promoting the space. Space is a tool to develop, to teach physics, mathematics, engineering, and technology sectors. Then most of the students are really highly interested. Then we are, we are pushing the uh, Ministry of Higher Education to incorporate some of the space um, and, uh, and uh, technology sectors into the small curriculum. In, in integrating with matters, physics, science, and so on, then this is what we are working now. And um, at the same time, Minister of Science and Higher Education is also uh, interested to establish some of the, in some universities, in, in engaging in training masters and PhD students in space. Will, will there be enough professors to be able to teach those, to handle those in universities, in many of the universities? Mm. Wouldn't that be quite a bit wild to yes. ever think about about yes. about? Yes, yes. Uh, Institute can take uh, the, the the responsibility of the Ethiopian space science and technology is nationally, internationally coordinating space sectors. 
then what we are doing now at Ndoto is we don't have enough professors to supervise students, masters and PhD students. But we have a wide range of collaborations. Professors from abroad, from USA, from Europe, from China, from different countries will come to Ethiopia, stay sometimes, teach the course, supervise students, and we will send also our PhD students to do to stay at least from three to one year research visit to abroad. Then the program is like sandwich and in more inter, 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 international mobility system. You mean here in Addis Ababa? Yes, here in Addis Ababa. Even, even in Addis Ababa, it's really difficult, right, for you to keep this, this training program running, right? Yeah, of course. So therefore, then if the universities are going to be open and start the training, then we will try to as facilitate such a program through the through the university. We have a wide range of collaborations. That is, otherwise we cannot get enough professors from Ethiopia. Needs more training of the professors. I mean, the idea of space science has been rolling for many years now, and that's why you established the Intotoro Observatory and you have a legal a legal institution that's been sanctioned by the government, right, which is uh, overseeing all these operations. It's been going on for many years. Yeah. Where does the interest begin? Where? And yeah. how did the interest begin? How did... How, what triggered this whole intervention? This is really sometimes... Uh, in, in my personal view, personally, when I was uh, a student in, in the countryside, then... Uh, my interest was to be a mathematics or physics teacher at the university. That, that was. Then um, immediately uh, when I was a graduate student in Addis Ababa University in, 2000, uh, uh, in 2003 and 2004, then uh, with my colleagues currently they are teaching at, at the Jumma University. Then uh, our master's program in astrophysics. Always we were discussing about space astronomy and following others, me, uh, NASA's activities and others' activities. And uh, our advisor now he's he's already passed away, uh, Doctor Legesa together. We decided to establish small club. That was our interest. That's why the, what is the what was the purpose of that? Small club is small club is to promote astronomy, to promote space. Then uh, we were using small old telescope to observe or to stargazing. Then we met some of the people, such as Tafara and others, and the politician. They are also looking into the sky and we using small telescope. Then. Uh, this, this is, I think, initial. Tafar asked. You mean Tafar Walwa? Tafar Walwa. And then he, he, is like, uh, he was at that time, I think, the minister, and he's a big politician. And then we explained to him the interest and our interest, our mission. Oh, he accepted, and then he joined. Even many people, many politicians joined. And then uh, uh, 49 people established in the Ethiopian Space Science Society. Then, but the broad, the objective of the Ethiopian Space Science Society was, even though it is it is a um, non-governmental organization, but the objective, the mission seems to be like a government. It was adopted by the government ev yes. eventually, but yes. it was individuals like you yes. and other politicians yes. who joined hands, and, and business people as well. Yes, business people. Sheikh Mohammed Alamuddin, business uh, Supermi Court uh, President uh, Kamal Badri, and many I mean, yes, others involved. And you had uh, the Intoto Observatory yes. built. Then agreed and built the Intoto Observatory. Then 2013, uh, Intoto Observatory is officially established by the uh, 32 universities and the space science. That is really a drastic and paradigm shift mm -hmm. the, the, in the space program. Then we set the different programs and, and uh, highlights of the five years and others. Well, and thi this is an interest then. Well, well, a very interesting project and looking forward to more info 
uh, on the satellite and uh, other interventions that you're going to introduce in the years ahead. Good luck and thank you very much thank indeed you very much. for being on the show. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you very much. <laughs>